Hello and welcome to my channel. My name is Ladia and you're watching Mimi Made It by Ladia. Well, today I want to show you how you can make a gorgeous wine bottle bouquet. And I'm going to use a, a bottle of wine that I have here. And I have some beautiful pink roses and flowers and greenery. And all of that is going to come together to just make a glorious bouquet that you can give as either Valentine's Day gift a Mother's Day gift, a any day gift that you want to give to brighten someone's day. First, I want to show you how to prepare the wet foam for your project. A quick tip that I want to share with you is when you put the wet foam into the water, make sure that you don't press it down in there. If you do that, you will create air pockets within the materials and will also cause your flowers as you put them into uh, the wet foam to hit air pockets and not last as long as you would like for them to do. Just drop the wet foam in and just let the water absorb into it by itself. Just takes a few minutes to do and then you're ready to start your project. As I was walking through Joanne Fabrics the other day, I came across this product right here and it's actually wet foam and I want to go ahead and bring this a little bit closer to you so that you can see it. I'll also have it in my description box as well. It is pre-formed wet form and I'm going to show you what it looks like uh, outside of the packet. Uh, this is what it looks like. It already has the round hole in there that's already perfect for your bottle and then it is on sits in a hard uh, cover, which I think is gonna kinda help stop a lot of the leakage to it that you normally get when you're using uh, the wet foam and you're wrapping that with saran wrap. It's gonna drop it down in the water and let it just take a moment and just absorb all of the water into the wet foam. So I've got this on top and I'm ready to start adding my florals. I'm going to use these beautiful pink roses. I have uh, different kinds, a couple different kinds, uh, variation in shade that I'm gonna use in here. I have some greenery, of course. I have some berries that I'm gonna add to it as well. So uh, what I'm gonna do is start with this very first one. I did go ahead and clip them all from the long stems just to make this project a little bit quicker. Now what I did is I clipped them at an angle just like that. And that's gonna make it easier for the foils to get down into the foam. Another thing that I'm gonna do is I'm going to dip this in some water and then I'm gonna dip it into some alum powder. What the alum powder will do will help to prolong the life of your florals as you're using them. Um, they work really good with your thicker stemmed items like your roses, uh, especially on your hydrangeas, uh, you want to make sure that you use a little alum powder. And generally, you can find that uh, in the spice aisle at your local grocery store. So I'm going to go ahead and just continue to add my roses here and there. And then still dipping with some of the alum powder. And I'm just kind of doing a little bit of a hodgepodge in this design um, because I'm going to fill it up with uh, other florals and the greenery and some baby's breath. The baby's breath is going to work great for this project because it's going to act as a uh, wonderful filler so that you don't see the green foam. Again, just cutting these at an angle. I'm turning on my Lazy Susan and just inserting a rose. So I've got my nice big roses in there, real pretty, and I've got some smaller ones right here that I'm gonna add in too. The same as these, I uh, got some nice thick stems on this and I'm just gonna add them here and there within the wet foam. Now another quick tip for you, as you're adding your florals to the wet foam, um, if you happen to decide that you don't want um, that particular floral in a certain spot when you take it out, um, make sure that you do not put another floral within that same spot um, because what you've done in essence is created an air pocket and by adding another floral within that area, what you're gonna do is uh, lessen the lifespan of that particular flower by adding it to um, that air pocket that you created. 
I'm just turning that so you can see how everything is just kind of filling in. And with these, you can really just do any design that you like. This is one of those uh, projects that you can just be as creative as you want to be. Um, and as you're giving this as a gift, certainly the person that you give it to will enjoy it. And that's how it's starting to look for you. It's pretty. I got another few roses I'm going to add to kind of cover up some spots in there. I generally like to uh, set aside a few pieces uh, of floral just so if I need to fill a spot in then I have something extra to work with. One of the things that I like about using this uh, pre-formed uh, wet foam, uh, first of all it is perfect for the bottle. It fits right on top of that and of course depending upon I'll leave that one. And of course, depending upon you know how tall and how thick of a bottle that you use at the top, is going to determine how far down this wet foam will go on it. So that's something to consider too. Um, now I'm going to come in and add some greenery, and I'm going to go ahead and dip that in there too in the alum powder, and add it to the wet foam. And just going to turn and just add here and there. And you know, this is something that, that you can do yourself and be very proud and pleased with the way that it turns out. And while you're making them for your friends or family, go ahead and make one for yourself too. I like the way that greenery is just really making the uh, florals pop. And it's also covering up a lot of the wet foam that's in there. And I have a couple of lilies that I'm going to add. I cut those at an angle. I'm also uh, adding some of the alum powder to it and just putting that down in there. Just to give it a little bit of a variation. Um, they're a little closed right now, but of course when they open up, they're just going to be gorgeous and they're going to really spread out within this floral arrangement. And now I have some white berries that I want to add to this too. Um, they've got a nice thick stem in them, so I'm going to add a little bit of the alum powder and just add it right in there. See how, oh, that berry just really adds to it. Got a few more of those that I'm going to add. Snip those at an angle as needed and just put it right down into that wet foam. Easy. You guys know I always say quick and easy. Um, I like to make things as easy as possible. Um, sometimes they're quick and sometimes they're not. A lot of the work comes in for the prep time. I, I may have said that before that it looks like uh, this is a quick project and it can be. Um, however, I like to make sure that I have everything prepped and ready before I start working on my projects. I also like to make sure that I have all of my materials handy for me so I don't have to run off and find things here and there. It just makes your project go a lot quicker when you have everything ready. So I've got a lot of the florals, I've got the greenery in there, I've got some berries in there. You could still see some of the wet foam. So now I'm going to add some baby's breath right down in there. And you see how that just kind of brightens that up too. It's pretty. So I'm going to use a lot of this baby's breath because like I said, it's going to be a, a really good filler for this and fill in a lot of the spaces. And then uh, when I come back, if I see that I need to uh, add a few more pieces of floral in there, I'll do that too. It's really starting to come together and look just the way that I want it to look. And it's really a quick project for you. And it's just oh so pretty. And I've got that piece in there. So you see how it's just all kind of coming out. I'm going to go ahead and uh, finish this up with some more baby's breath. And then I'm going to take a peek around and see what else I can add to it just to finish it off. 
the baby's breath is really just adding a nice contrast to the uh, pink flowers that are in here. Really pretty. Got some, uh, I believe these are snapdragons. I'm gonna just have about three of them. So I'm just gonna add them here and there within this arrangement and just give it a little bit more definition. Right in there. Very pretty. So I've got two more that I'm gonna add. And just let those just kind of hang out there and pretty one more I'm going to add over in this corner and kind of make a little bit of a triangle within the design I add some alum powder to this too and I'm going to fit that one right down in here near that lily and this is how this gorgeous bouquet has turned out on top of the wine bottle the beautiful pink roses the white baby's breath, some other small flowers in there, the greenery, all come together just to make this so gorgeous. One thing I will tell you is that by using this pre-formed wet foam for this project, it did cut down on a lot of the water leakage. There was just a little bit, but definitely not as much as when I first used the wet foam and wrapped that in saran wrap. So I'm gonna take a few minutes and I'm gonna go ahead and kind of dress up this bottle and then come back for the final reveal. This beauty is all ready for gift giving. You actually have two gifts in one. You've got the wine bottle and then you have this gorgeous bouquet of fresh floral. Now if you want to up your game and add to some cool points, go ahead and add a nice gift certificate to a day at the spa or a shopping spree. I hope that this is something that you will try for yourself or as gift giving for someone. Makes a nice uh, housewarming gift too, as well as Valentine's Day, Mother's Day, and any day that you want to brighten someone's day. I hope that you like my content, and if you would like to see more of what I'm going to bring to you in upcoming Fun With Florals, make sure you subscribe as well. I would love to have you as part of my Mimi Made It by Laddia family. And as I always say, thank you so much for joining me and whatever you do and wherever you go, be blessed.